Let's watch this, bro. We were watching six wealthy teens versus one broke teen. God damn, man. I know, uh, bro, trust, trust. I, I know, I can sense the brokenness. I am a wealthy teen. 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 I'm a wealthy teen. I am a wealthy teen. I am a wealthy teen. Oh, she, she look wealthy. Her smile just called me poor. What does everyone's parents do? Let me My see. Dad. Let me see the fits. Let me see the fits. Let me see the fits. They what? The first question they ask is, "What do your parents do?" Dude, fuck these kids, bro. Why don't one of these kids understand that their their parents' wealth is not theirs? Ma, let me have a kid. That motherfucker getting crumbs. Is a senior manager for a cool like computer tech company. My mom works for NBC and my dad works for Directv. Mm. I actually don't have a dad. My mom, when she was 35, she decided that she. She didn't need a man and you know she went through sperm donation she opened up a business for uh -huh. cancer patients for like areola replacement and um, permanent cosmetics she said her mom was single and a lot of single parents oftentimes struggle a little bit it's my f just seem poor like he got he got a, a fresh cut but i don't know dude his eyebrows look threaded that is some rich his outfit's not given though he got his toes exposed but more that's not the case for every single parent but my mom's a projector technician and my dad is a farrier so like he does horseshoes on horses um, okay that sounds fancy a beauty salon so she does something like similar to you what your mom does and then my dad i don't know how to explain his job but he's like the manager of a school district so yeah. Yeah. i mentioned mm. that the mom owned a hair salon there's a possibility of that having unsteady income mm. what cars do you guys advance drive i have a lexus a bmw damn a Volvo. damn my mom drives a tesla and my dad has like a i don't like kind of like a jeep but like not really a jeep i don't really know a what g-wagon my mom was driving a 2003 dodge ram with like 200,000 miles on it but she mm. just got a mercedes yesterday yeah. 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 Go, mom. I live in a beach town. Cars aren't like super important to us, but my dad is really into motorcycles, so he drives a motorcycle. Um, I own three BMWs, so my car. Um... Ah, bro. I mean, she could be lying or she could be telling the truth, but at the same time, she got the Louis V on. She the only one with some real name brand shit on, bro. Like showing out. So I don't know. This could be lying for real. Like you know, poor people. I don't know. Poor people just like wearing like expensive shit just on display be a whole display signs for gucci with three dollars in their bank account you know what i mean um both my parents cars are being we're all like bmw lovers so i didn't i didn't like the how the one in the middle was standing she broke she got look at her knees going inward that just seemed like poor people shit. i don't know this motherfucker got his feet out though that this is a pigeon he could be poor i don't know who's poor and who's who's not Tiebreaker. She got bowling shoes on. Places because my dad's really career driven. I grew up in Connecticut. I live really close to the beach, and that's like my. Look at look at homegirl shoes, bro. What the f is she, what is she wearing? She gotta be broke. She stole them from theater. Fashion. I grew up going on vacations every year. I'm very well traveled. Because theater I'm class. Do you want? I can talk about that. Do you want to hear or? We don't. No. Um, is that 60 seconds? <laughs> we weren't always wealthy, so I, I, I don't know what else to say. Like, yeah, we go on vacations a lot. I have aspirations. To now, I don't like how that's glistening. She got cuber, cubic sarconiums. I'm so broke, I don't even know the, the fake diamonds. Fuck. She got that doctor. on. My parents have put me to, to be a doctor. They both went to college. We're really privileged, thankfully. Yeah, get out of here, bucko. I was like really quiet. So I think that's kind of what made everyone vote me out so easily. Your glasses so ain't Gucci, it was lady. Tie last round. And just out of curiosity, what reason did you, between June and I, did you think was inherently poor or low income? Like, how did you judge that? Nah, she she's good. That, that tea is way too clean and crispy, that is a fresh out the package. Um, he got a lot of accessories on. You can't see it because I'm in the way. <sighs> she, if she does have money, she needs a stylist because this, bitch, I don't know what she got on right now. It's not giving. Based off of knowing us for five minutes. I think my dad always ingrained into my, into my brain that like people who drive motorcycles are like really unsafe. And they no. like, that's really, that's not a good decision to make. I'm like, okay, dad. 
I have a question. Yeah, she got to be rich because that was some real dumb shit. I went to private school when I was younger and then I moved to public school only because like when I moved houses, there wasn't any like good um, private schools near me. And also I really like my like um, public high school experience. Do you go to public or private school? Actually? Public. Okay. I think uh, prior to this year, I think I went to a lot of like stereotypically like rich kids schools. When I was in elementary, they, we, we were starting like iPad. We had like iPads Whoa. in like first grade. And then in third grade, we started having like Chromebooks. Like I have like a lot of friends from just like in, like in a lot of different districts. And then they all were like, they only started getting Chromebooks when they were in like fifth grade. She kept talk wow. talking about Chromebooks. So I was like, is she trying to like take us to a different direction about Chromebooks? So I was like, okay, I don't want to know about Chromebooks, so. I went to East Catholic, which was a public <laughs> school or private school. So I go to a public school because my mom didn't want to drive me super far to go to private school. Yeah, they were like all like an hour away and my mom was not about to drive me an hour away to, for school. So Damn, some of these parents suck dude i don't know if, if any of those are rich people or rich teens that have rich parents but like bro just understand chat like if you ever have kids or if you have kids in here just know your life is over when you have kids bro okay and, and you should dedicate your life to towards your kids because that's your obligation as, as that as soon as they're 18 i guess sure whatever throw them the fuck out you know what i mean but like dude a, a lot of parents don't be parenting if you don't want to drive your kid to get a better education that's like a huge like what the are we doing bro that's your only kid you know what i mean like that's that's you and you don't want to drive him a few like a few what minutes hours out of your time to go and get a better education for their future a lot of people don't invest in their kids and it's an academy for middle school and then now i'm in a public high school it's close to the beach and it has programs for the science stuff that i like mm. dang another tiebreaker Mm. Damn, so they just I think Abby poor. You know, make a lot of my own money by myself. My mom, she really wants to like stress financial independence. So I'm actually a content creator. I oh yeah, she broke your shit. And I do a lot of, like fashion and like modeling. Okay, she might not be broke as shit. I don't know. With that outfit, it's not really giving fashion, but at the same time, that just seemed like some bullshit that like a, a rich kid would say like i just do content creation you know what i mean and it's like you know because if you broke you're not doing no content creation you know what i mean i was working at home depot while trying to stream but you know what i mean i was working valet while trying to paint and, and sell art on the side you don't just have content creation fashion sh i don't know content last year i learned how to like work with brands and like make a lot of money from that which you can make a lot of money if you guys are interested in social media you definitely get into it forgot to mention that we also vacation if that means anything to you in europe in like scotland and stuff because uh -huh. a lot of my family lives out there i also create content i love video games i don't have a job myself because i'm really focused on academics but doing something like you talked about doing would be really cool i'm not the mole uh -huh. i promise you Dang, again? Oh, <laughs> Fashion with that whack ass chain she got on. So, what college do you want to go to? Oh, yes. And do your parents plan on funding it? So, yes, they're going to fund it. I'm not going to lie. I don't really know how much it works because with my parents, a lot of it's moisture never been in her issue. mouth. Like, they've always been very clear that, like, we're really lucky and we have the ability to support you in whatever you want to do, which is why they're not hard on me for my Over grade. here swallowing extra hard just for her. Like, what the f***, bitch? Yeah, bro, talking, talking to a bitch, she just, she got mass saliva in her mouth. Like, what the f***? Damn. Swallow just once or twice. Shit. It's... My dream school is UCSB. Or I really want to oh, study my fault. That makes sense. in like Europe or Asia or something like that. Who funds your college? Okay, so I'm actually on full ride to USC on okay. Questbridge, which is like a scholarship for people in Connecticut, um, like local, a local scholarship. Do you pay for like everything else, like daily expenses or? Like, mm. Yes, yeah, I do. Like, I've been working since I was 15 as well. Like I was working in a restaurant when I was in Connecticut. Yeah, and then I started, you know, actually making like money, money from brands. Mm. Decided to vote Chandra out. Ooh. No hard feelings. You just seem poor. No hard feelings. You just broke his. I would have still voted for Abby if I'm being honest. But then he typed out like this long paragraph. I had been voting for for um, Chandra since the beginning, and I feel like she had known what the value of a dollar was because she saw her mom struggle, and she wanted to make a better life for herself because her mom stressed. Jesus, she, you gave her a lore. Abe, shut the f up, dude. Chandra needed to be financially independent to live a better life, and then everyone kind of just agreed with that. 
<laughs> Hope you guys got them all. <laughs> I think they voted me out because I said like that it was through scholarship, like why would she need a scholarship if she has so much money and that like I have a high work ethic, so I think that's why. Mm. If you want to keep playing, raise your hand on three. One, two, three. Oh. Never mind. Okay. Oh, who's the poor person? Who do you think it is, Chad? Who do you think it is? Ooh. They got that broke ass bitch. Yeah. No way. What are you talking about? Who do you think it's gonna be? This one right here. Oh. I knew it. Even though I just said this one, I knew it. It was this one because that talk about some. God, wait, no, I didn't. I actually didn't. I thought I fucking lied. I'm lying. I'm just lying right now. I'm just lying. I. I <laughs> I'm lying like a mother I got short term memory, my fault. Yeah, so I've grown up like low income, you know, my whole life. Questbridge is actually a scholarship, which I, I am on full chain. ride for low income students. We're like high achieving. Like it's also been hard because it's like my mom, she, you know, has gone through like substance abuse. Like we lived in a motel room and with like all of our animals and you know, we had to like, we had to like, we're here like, to support you. Yeah. Don't say support, bitch, and then you just go, all right, bye. After, bitch, need some financial support. If you're not going to hand over G, you shut your bitch ass up, you little privileged, bitch, spoiled bitch. On my face. All the stuff in like my life, I've just you're grown to be like, very you. grateful for. Head you know, ass. and just like not take anything for granted. No, like, that's so awesome. <laughs> y'all muff. If y'all really gave a f you wouldn't be all hype about this money. You would have gave it to her. She need it. She's broke. Y'all motherfuckers got money. It's little daddy's money. Shut your bitch. I don't, I don't like any of these. I don't like the rich. They bother me.